Theme keep it clean. One thing that I absolutely love hearing, shout out to the people who are listening on headphones, but one thing that I absolutely love hearing is good news. Love it. Love sharing good news as well, but love hearing it. And in this video, we're going to do a, a combination of both because the Ravens, they gave us a lot of good news today, but again, shout out to everybody listening on headphones, but shout out to everybody who says these videos are too loud, but the Ravens also, um, they had some bad news in there as well. And we'll talk about a little bit of everything. Uh, but first and foremost, let's start with the good news. First, the good news is that, team, keep it clean. Y'all are beautiful. Y'all are beautiful people. Inside, outside, I really appreciate y'all. I appreciate you all's attitudes. Uh, I appreciate you all's mindsets. Uh, I appreciate you all's thought processes. Thank you so much for everything that y'all do and everything that y'all contribute to the channel because y'all contribute a lot uh, to the channel with the questions, with the comments, with the subjects, with just the different uh, analysis of the games. Y'all y'all do a lot. So thank y'all for that. Now, um, the good news. Patrick McCary, he's back at practice. Uh, and that is a beautiful thing because we lost Patrick McCary a couple weeks ago. He had a uh, suffered a low ankle sprain, I believe. Uh, so that knocked him out. And the expectation was that he was going to be out for a couple weeks. Um, and he's been out for a couple weeks. But now he could be back, possibly, for this Bengals game. Possibly. We'll see. Now, um, now y'all know I'm crazy. I'm crazy. And I mean, all of y'all got some crazy in you because in order to be a fan of the Baltimore Ravens, you cannot be a sane person. But if it was up to me, I would keep starting Filele at left tackle. And I, and I, that's just me, though. That's just me. But I, I would leave him out there. I would leave him there. Till Ronnie Stanley come back, I would have Filele right there as that big left tackle. But anyway, that's just me. But having Patrick McCary, it's only a good thing because it adds more quality healthy depth to the offensive line uh so this is a beautiful thing that he's back at practice but now the big name who made his big return to practice uh the long-awaited return to practice is running back gus edwards and him being back is a beautiful thing because it can help in so many different ways which we're going to get into in a little bit um but gus edwards this he, he's been removed from the physically unable to perform list. But just a real quick rundown of what that means. Now, he has this a 21-day window that he can practice for. He can practice for the next 21 days, the next three weeks. But either before or at the end of that 21-day window, Ravens have a decision to make. They have to decide whether Gus Edwards is going to be act activated and put on the active roster or if he is going to revert to injury reserve and be done for the year to where he cannot come back at all. Now, of course, I know the latter sounds very scary, but that's not the expectation with Gus Edwards. The expectation is that he ends up being a full goal. Now, when that happens this week, no, I would not count on it at all. We saw how they handled J.K. Dobbins. Even though J.K. Dobbins didn't get put on the physically unable to perform list, he did not go week one. He did not go week two. And technically, he was healthy, but the Ravens were like, nope, not yet. Nope, not yet again. All right, there you go, J.K., do your thing. So the expectation would be that Gus Edwards is, is going to be a little bit. Now, I can even see the Ravens really stretching this thing out and using all 21 days uh, just to make sure they really, really got Gus Edwards all the way back. So this week, again, it's expected that it's a no-go for Gus. And even next week against the Giants, I would expect it to be a no-go as well. Um, then the following week, I don't even remember the schedule after that, but that's when there's that possibility. So we'll see. We'll see. But it is a nice thing that he is practicing again. But what can Gus Edwards do for these Baltimore Ravens? Well, um, Gus Edwards, just he would upgrade the quality uh, of the Ravens running backs. Now, I was having a conversation with my guy B the other day, and he had a thought that initially I had thought before, but I found out that it was wrong. Um, his thought with uh, Lamar Jackson and the Ravens in the run game he was like, you could put anybody back there, and anybody back there will have success simply because of Lamar Jackson. And y'all know, I had said that on plenty of videos before a long time ago, that I, that's, I felt the same way. And all those videos were dated uh, early 2021, definitely not during the 2021 season, um, because that 2021 season, it showed me, because that was my same thinking. I'm like, oh, it's Lamar Jackson, it's Ravens. They're going to figure out how to run that ball with anybody back there. It does not matter. But it matters. It matters big time. 
Um, we saw how they inserted uh, Latavius Murray back there. And he did have some good games, but a lot of it was just, no. Nah. We saw how they inserted Devontae Freeman back there. And he had some good games, but a lot of it was, no. We saw how they tried with Le'Veon Bell back there. And no. Yeah. It, it just it wasn't, wasn't working. Um, and, but last year we saw when Tyson Williams was back there. And minus the fumbles, of course. But Tyson Williams, he looked to be their best runner. And I don't think that that was by coincidence. Reason I say that is because Tyson Williams, he was a lot more familiar with the Ravens system than Le'Veon Bell, Latavius Murray, and Devontae Freeman. We've seen this year the Ravens sign Mike Davis. We've seen this year the Ravens sign Kenyon Drake. And we've seen this year the Ravens retain Justice Hill. Which one of those three backs has looked the best? It's Justice Hill. And it's not even close. And I do not think that that's a coincidence at all. Justice Hill, out of those three backs, he is the running back that is the most familiar with this system. So he has looked the best. And then two games ago, J.K. Dobbins, he came back. And he looked miles better than Mike Davis. Um, and Kenyon Drake, he looked better than him too. Even though Kenyon Drake hasn't got too much opportunity. But J.K. looked better than him too. So that's my expectation when Gus Edwards returns is that he helps this running game, helps the quality of this running game um, improve because they need it. They, they, they certainly need it. Um, running backs, the, the quality of running backs is very important because it makes a big, big difference. And we know that firsthand. Lamar Jackson is definitely a threat. On any play, and teams got to watch out for Lamar Jackson on any play, and he does enhance the Ravens' run game um, on any play. But a, a better back back there uh, that enhances the run game uh, just as much. Uh, so with Gus returning, whenever he does return, uh, that'll be nice to see. So that was the good news. That was the good news. But then there's the bad news. Um, Rashad Bateman at the end of uh, the game, the Bills game on Sunday, Rashad Bateman was uh, in a walking boot. And I said that I didn't expect him to play in this Bengals game, um, didn't expect him to practice, didn't expect him to be available uh, because the walking boot is just, that's, it's not a good look. Um, and I was hoping that it was just the Ravens being extra precautionary and whatnot. And, hey, the jury's still out. It's still to be determined because, hey, who knows? He could pop up at practice tomorrow. He could pop up at practice on Friday. It'd be like, okay, let's go, Bateman. But he didn't practice today. So, so far, no good. But we still got two days left, so we'll see. Now, the Ravens, uh, I guess, kind of stay ready so you ain't got to get ready, kind of, sort of. Uh, they signed Bailey Gaither to the practice squad. So they added a receiver to the practice squad, uh, a spot that Rashad Bateman um, is down at right now. So we'll see. We'll see. Um, the quality of the Ravens wide receivers is definitely going to be tested. It was tested this past Sunday against the Bills, but now to be without Bateman, to the possibility of being without Bateman for the entirety of a game Oh, yeah, they will really get tested then. So Devin DuVernay, Demarcus Robinson, James Prochet, Tylen Wallace, uh, we'll see. And, of course, you got Mark Andrews, too, but we'll see. Because I would expect, especially if Bateman doesn't play, I would expect the, uh, the Bengals to do what the Bills did, even though, you know, the refs, the refs got in on it, too. They were like, oh, Bills, y'all need some help taking Mark Andrews out the game? <laughs> we got y'all, boys. Hey, watch this. Offensive pass in the field. Anyway, um, I would expect the Bengals, if, especially if, if Bateman doesn't play, I would expect them to really uh, turn all their attention to Mark Andrews and try to make the Ravens beat them with somebody else. So we'll see how that goes. Also, um, we talked about the running backs earlier. Justice Hill, uh, he has a hamstring injury, so he didn't practice either. Um, so that is not good. Um, 
But we'll see. We'll see how it goes. We'll see. Uh, I don't know, man. Uh, J.K. Dobbins, he didn't practice. I don't think there's any concern there. Um, it could be them just continuing to ease him back in the thick of things. I, I don't have any worries with J.K. Dobbins. Um, I don't recall him suffering any crazy injuries. It could just be, again, them ramping him up, ramping his practice up, uh, ramping his participation up. So I don't think that's anything. Uh, but, hey, we'll see. But with Justin Houston, he didn't practice, and he still has uh, his – he's dealing with his groin injury. He hasn't returned from that yet. So that's something to keep an eye on. Um, Calais Campbell and Marcus Peters, uh, they said that they normally get vet days on Wednesdays, so no concern there. Because uh, both of them finished the game, uh, so no concern there. Now, um, somebody who wasn't on this list uh, was Ronnie Stanley. So Ronnie Stanley is continuing to practice, and that's a good sign. That that's that's a good thing. So hopefully he uh, continues that. Um, so looking forward to it. whenever he does end up returning. And hopefully when he does return, he can return to form uh, rather quickly. But again, we it, it's going to be a process. So anyway, team, keep it clean. I appreciate y'all. Uh, it was nice sharing some good news with y'all. Um, oh, one more thing, um, because I don't want to forget uh, and I don't want anybody to be offended or anything like that. Um, for the patrons and the Team Keep It Clean channel members, so, so Team Keep It Clean patrons and Team Keep It Clean channel members, uh, my apologies because on any recent videos that you're going to see, um, the you know how normally during the video to show the list of all the Team Keep It Clean patrons and the list of all the Team Keep It Clean channel members. For a little bit, you're not going to see that list because my computer, a um, couple days ago, well, actually for this past week, uh, it had been acting loony. Uh, because with edited videos, it just, it was not doing a job. Like y'all remember the Ronnie Stanley question from subscriber video? Uh, it had my, my voice was moving. My voice was going, but the words were like, blah, 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 blah. it looked like one of those, those, uh, those English dubs from those, uh, the movies where they talk in a different language in the movie, but the, Eng they, 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 the, the actors or whoever, the voice actors, they speak English to do the translating and all that. And it just, yeah. So it was bad. And then there was another video where it made me sound like I was a, like a robot underwater or something like that. The, the, the editing was just, it was messing up bad. So I had to reset my computer. Um, so they wiped out everything, wiped everything from the, uh, the hard drive and whatnot, reset the whole thing. Um, and now it's working, but I have to, uh, come, I have to come together and make, uh, make another one of those uh, Team Keep It Clean patron and uh, the Team Keep It Clean channel members lists. Uh, that come across the screen so just bear with me on that um i know some of y'all probably like, oh it's not a big deal but i just want to let y'all know because i know some people may be like hey where's where's the list where's, where, where's my name on it? um so i gotta work on that so just want to let y'all know give y'all a little heads up anyway i appreciate y'all i love y'all uh and like krishaw bateman hopefully won't be uh for too long we out